Hi everyone, in this quick and easy tutorial we are going to explore a little trick that creates this cool animation that I like to call time travel. We are going to create this awesome time travel effect with only 4 nodes. Hope you enjoy this tutorial and have fun exploring this little trick. But before we start our tutorial I want to talk to you about our Patreon page and our Jenny, where you can support our work and allow us to keep doing these tutorials for the community. On Patreon you get access to more advanced tutorials and project files by supporting us with a monthly subscription. On Jamie, you can request help with your VFX projects or request artworks to help your production or brand. Jamie works with a one-time payment without a monthly subscription. So if you enjoy our content and want us to keep doing these tutorials and work for the community, check out our Patreon page and Jamie. Your support means a lot to us and help us to keep doing what we love. Okay, let's start this quick tutorial. <laughs> You'll see this is pretty easy to do. So let's place a geo node. Uh, I've downloaded a few uh, animations from Mixam. Okay, this is a walking one. I went here and go to dance and wrote some break dance. Okay, and I've downloaded a few of them with this character. Okay, all from Mixamo, it's free, so if you want to start and follow along, you can download that. So let's call it Dancer. And let's place an agent node. Okay, let's change the input to FBX, and let's pick up that. I've downloaded a few, as you can see. We are going to start with Breakdancer proc var2 okay sounds cool and when you download the animations fbx from mixano if you put if you do this you can see that the animation is not playing because you need to come to current clip press that little arrow and choose mixano now you have your animation in loop okay pretty cool so what we will do is that we will use a for loop and a time shift node to do a little trick and do that drag or time travel effect okay so what we are going to do let me try and explain the concept is that we have the animation right those vertical lines are the frames that goes zero from example 150 like our full animation and we are going to pick one frame, for example, this one, the 60. I change colors. Let's go. This frame is 60. Okay. And we are going to pick this frame, this one, this, for example, uh, 10 times or 10 frames before. Okay. So our animation, instead of having only one image showing, we are going to use a for loop to have these 10 frames showing, okay? I think that maybe this is a little bit uh, rough <laughs> and complex, but let's see what we I mean by working, by doing that here on Houdini. So as I said, we are going to use a time shift, okay? As you know, time shift controls the frame. So right now is, uh, for example, 30. If I do $F minus five, we are going to use the frame that is on 25, okay? So right now, we are always using um, the previous uh, fifth frame of the animation, okay? Let's go back here. So what I'm doing is that we are on 60, okay? And we are using visualization, visual, seeing, viewing this uh, frame, okay? So let's go back, let's delete this one. And I was saying that we are going to use the for loop, do a little trick with the for loop, okay? So on this for loop, we are going to create a meta import node 
Okay, this is really, really important. Let's turn this off, this wire, because we don't need that. And if you select this node on metadata, you can see here that you have detail attributes and you have iteration, number, iteration value, and I value. We are going to use the iteration, okay? And we are going to use the function called detail to get access to the iteration. So here we have the number of iterations. And as you know, the for loop is a, a function that runs the code inside here uh, multiple times the, no the number of times that we have on the iterations, okay? So what we are going to do is that instead of doing this by hand, like I, I had that dollar frame minus five, instead of five, we are going to use the number of iterations from the for loop, okay? So let me show you what I mean. Let's use the detail. I need to write it properly. <laughs> detail. We are going to use, pick up the iterations value from that metadata. Right, so let's repeat, select this one, metadata, really important to have that one, close that. We need the iterations, let me check if it is plural or not, iteration without an S, okay, and comma zero and close that up, okay, so right now, uh, I have my fr current frame, okay, 54, minus the iteration from this, okay? And right now what we just need to do is leave the time shift uh, outside the for loop and wire the time shift to the repeat end, the block end, okay? And here we need to change one, just one thing. Iteration method is by count, okay? And feedback, we need to merge each iteration. Right now nothing happens, but as soon as we increase these values, let's go to 5 for example, you can see that we are now dragging like time travel. Because, as I told you, we are using this frame, right? And the previous 5. So we are seeing this frame, this frame, this frame, this frame, and this frame. Okay? We have we are seeing in total five. If I go back to one, you can see we don't have. Uh, so we just we are just seeing one frame of the animation. If I go to ten or increase this one, you can see that we are increasing the dragging. Okay, pretty cool, right? Right now we are using the minus detail, so we are seeing the previous ones. If we change this to instead of minus to plus, okay, we are going to see the next frames, okay? Just a little trick because sometimes you imagine you want to do a teleport animation, okay? So you have here, right, the, the animation, then boom, go to the next one, and then you have like a teleportation and time travel thing, okay? To the future. That's pretty much it for this one. <laughs> so you can do multiple things. Let's try another one. Let's place a null. Call based answer. Okay. Is really important. So on this one, let's get another one. Let's go with the freezes. Let's check this one. Pretty cool. Let's increase this timeline. One thing that you can do is animate this one, the block hand, okay? You can animate the iterations. So, for example, if you are in one, like I did, let's go to 60. Alt uh, press, Alt click on iterations to add a keyframe. Let's change this to linear. Okay. And 
and for our next 10 frames let's go to 70 let's increase this to 10 and I want to I'm going to show you why I, I like to use minus detail but I'm right now I'm leaving on plus so you can see the the problem and on 120 let's go back without having the time travel okay so as I told you if we are using the plus we are going to use the future frames if we use minus we are going to use the previous frames so what happened here is that if I play the animation and I have plus detail okay see in the next frames it will kind of uh, super speed had super speed to the animation okay let me check the current see that that little jump we did here because we are going to get the next frames the future frames if I change this to minus it has, instead of plus we will have a different effect it will start to leave a trail behind let's call it like that okay it's different than going to pick the, pre the next frames and i want this effect i want to leave a trail behind pretty cool so that's how one way to animate this so you play with the iterations okay and you get different results this one was a simple and easy tutorial now you understand a little bit better what we can do with for loop and time shift if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to hit the subscribe and like button check our content and if you enjoy consider supporting us on patreon or jamie to keep doing these tutorials hope you enjoyed this one have a nice day and see you on the next tutorial